How to safely shut down my Snorzy NAS with a UPS. Hi, I'm Neil Shan and welcome to my channel. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe below so you get all the latest videos. In this video, we're going to talk about how to safely shut down my Snorzy NAS with a UPS. So firstly, why would we want to do this? The first reason is it helps prevent data loss by giving the NAS enough time to actually save the data and unbound volumes before losing power and shutting down. In other words, another simple way of saying it is to prevent the head crash of your NAS. And the other reason as well is everything is automatic. In this case, that you don't actually have to, when the power goes out, you actually don't have to actually go ahead and actually shut down your NAS, make sure it's all okay. When you have that UPS there, it will actually detect that and shut down and wake itself up automatically. So let's go and go to the demo and let's show you exactly how to do this. Okay, here we go. We're in the, when you're NAS in the DSM, first thing to go to is control panel. In control panel, we go to the hardware and power. And as you can see here, the first thing to make sure about is your power recovery settings. Make sure that it says restart automatically when a power issue, supply issue is fixed. So this will mean that if it does go down, the, the NAS will go to sleep and then it will wake itself up when the power comes back on again. Let's have a look at the UPS tab. Now click it to enable UPS support and leave everything else as default. Now the reason why I leave it as default versus actually having customized time is your NAS is actually talking to the UPS all the time. It will detect when the power goes down. And we can see that here, if we go to the bottom here with device information, we can see there, it even says it's connected, connected and it's 100% battery. So when it actually gets down to a certain level, when it actually considers it low, it will actually shut itself down. And that's the benefit of having this configured this way. And once the power actually comes back up again, it will wake itself up again based on the other thing. Now you would see on this one, you'll see that there, I've enabled a network UPS server. Now these for other the stations. So when you click on it, you enter all the, all the NAS. If you have more than one NAS, you enter all the NASs in there that will actually use this one. So let me jump over now to another NAS that I have. Again, this is another NAS. We go to control panel, go to the hardware and power, and go to the UPS. Now this NAS is not, has a, does not have a UPS connected directly to it. So when we click on that, we make sure that we have the Synology UPS server there, and we put the IP address of the host, the host NAS. And when we click device information, it still actually can detail. It tells the actual battery charge and things like that. So it will shut itself down when necessary, almost like the host does. So there you go. That's, that's how you configure it. And there you have it. Thank you for watching this video. Please leave a comment below and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.